This is a video of my Mazda Speed Miata exhaust manifold porting and electrolysis. You can see I polished the outside of it. I just wanted it to look better whenever I put it on the car. You can see how shiny it is now on the outside. I polished up the outside pretty nice. But the main thing that I did is I poured it out the inside. I have a tool that I bought from Northern Tools. It's a rotary tool and it has a extension to it. And here's what the inside of it looks like. I did it I did a pretty good job. I put a lot of man hours into it. Let's turn this light off. But probably the main thing that I did is right here on the inlet ports there was a lip. It was about three millimeters, three and a half millimeters. I removed that entire lip around all of the ports, all of them. So I opened up a lot of surface area for air to flow through more. And the outlet port, I also did the same thing. I removed a whole lot of material from the outlet port all along the inside diameter right there. And this is this box that it's sitting on is the rotary tool that I bought from Northern Tools. I'll open that up in a second here. But I guess I'll flip this upside down. And here's here's the rotary tool itself that I use with the extension on it. You can see how you're able to get into, into the inside of this thing like that but it makes its way all the way through there. You could get pretty much to any part of the inside of it, but that tool is like really, really useful in porting this out. Let me put this over here for a second into my electrolysis tank and show you some of the tools that I got with this kit right here. But here's some of the stones that I used. These came in handy. These came with the tool itself. There's like a whole bunch of different bits and everything that came with it. And it came with like another smaller rotary tool. And then I used these sanding discs also on the inside. This one was a really good one to use right here. But that's the tools that I used right there. Another thing that I did was my electrolysis tank right here. There's a battery charger that I have. And what I did is I put this into the tank and then I filled the tank with water. And I used Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda. And there's directions like two tablespoons per gallon or something like that. But what I did is I got this wire right here. I just got it at Home Depot. It's steel wire. And I routed the wire from here down through the inside of this part and then out this side right there back up to here. And then I got the positive and I connected it to that wire that went through it. But before I put the wire through it, I, I got some foam and cut some little cubes of foam and I stuck the wire through the cubes of I stuck the wire right through the cubes of foam and when I pulled the wire through here there's like a cube of foam here, here, and here that the wire went through so that the wire would not touch the part. And then what I did is I got the negative and I put the negative onto the part like that and then I flipped on the electricity going to the battery charger and what happened was the the rust that was on the inside of this, it went directly to the metal wire because it was the positive and the wire got all rusty and it took all the rust off the inside of this and it made it a lot easier to get the grinding stones and the sandpaper and a rotary tool to get all of the material off on the inside. It would have made it so much harder if it was all rusty on the inside but this thing ought to flow 
a heck of a lot better than it did from the factory since I ported it out so much. And here's a little video of a blow up from the maintenance manual of the turbocharger. There's the exhaust manifold. But what I plan on doing is I plan on porting out the one that's on the car right now. I got two of them, so I'm going to pour it out and probably polish it up, make it look a lot nicer, and then I'll end up selling the one that's on my car and use the money for like different upgrades on the car. But that's the video on my exhaust manifold porting that I did on my exhaust manifold.